Man, I don't know. Bad Girls was probably like the, you know, song I wasn't sure was going to be like, oh man, it's going to be on the record, like, because it's maybe a little less serious or. So I took this, like, took this Vegas trip that was supposed to be like a couple days with um, a friend of mine and turned into like six, you know, like extending the room and whatever. And I met this girl there, who, you know, had a job she didn't really like to talk about. And, uh, and, you know, profession she wasn't really super, super proud of. And we went out for, like, kind of off the strip, you know, went out for, like, local Mexican food, um, like burritos. And I was kind of asking her about her life, and she finally started kind of talking, talking to me. And she said, like, it was just that kind of light bulb profound moment. She was just like, I was asking her, like, you know, you wish you, you know, you could change it or this and that. She's just, bad girls don't cry. And um, I think I was asking her, like, if she felt, if she felt emotion about it, you know, and and about her life and about her past, and she said, you know, bad girls don't cry. It's like I don't. I was kind of like, all right, I have, uh, I have homework to do now. You know what I mean? I gotta pack to LA and see if I can turn that into a song. But it turned into a, it turned into kind of like a little bit of an a, like pretty minimal party joint. You know, it's um demo. The bad girls don't cry is like. It's a little bit more straightforward. What am I supposed to do? Then I redid the the first version of the production. This did have this version, this part. The other one didn't. No solo though. Maybe I won't play you that because I'll probably take that and make that a new song later. That riff's kind of hot. Maybe some other day. Uh, so we got in the production. Pretty simple drum loop. It's like. Stereo clap. Kick snare, you know? I mean, the thing that like really gets the whole thing cooking is like. That. I think the track that holds the whole thing together is probably, honestly, at the end of the day, this OB8 track is the one that moves it. So when, you, when you got that out. That's the, that's the chorus without it. That's the chorus with it. I think a huge part of the persona of this uh, of this song comes in from Midnight Dancer. Anytime you get Kieran on on uh, on a record, it's like one guitar that you not sure what it is, what instrument it is. You know, these big chunks come out of nowhere, and it's like. But all in all, I mean, it's like a dead dry vocal. You got some backing vocals here that are going doot doot, you know, doing their doot doots. But mostly in the, in the chorus is dead dry, like single. Man, it's like a modern thing, like, to, you know, you want to stack it. Like, I know when I'm producing records for other people, I'm like, man, I, I really want those two whys. And here, I think it's kind of like about just vulnerability, just like rather than make more of it, just turn the one thing that's good up and mute everything else. And it was like, I started feeling that way with about vocals, like, that, you know, that, that felt like I was hiding behind a mask if I wasn't just like standing center stage with it. What am I supposed to do? So it's just dead. It's dead dry. Like that's the, there's no verb, there's no... It's like pretty much like all the all these yeah, effects here are bypass. I originally told Frank that I wanted to sound like sexy back. I was like, man, I want to sound like sexy back. These are in there. I don't want it. It's a want it. I wanted a wolf when the moon's out. I found God in a dive with the lights down. You said you died to get out of this town. Yeah, you want it? You want it? What am I supposed to do? So I might got my Barry White one moment out of that. Probably spent like this wood block, we spent like, you know, fuck man. Like three days, I think Frank wanted to kill me, man. He was like, you know, I wanted the cowbell, not a cowbell. Like it originally was like that sampled cowbell you heard on the demo, that first version of the demo. 
What is this like, you know? <laughs> blah. Blah. <laughs> Without it, those pre's like it kind of moves it. So it kind of ended up being that sort of slightly dirty, slightly, I guess, empowered, you know, Vegas kind of anthem, and uh, got the friends on it, and everybody's sort of doing the gang vocals and uh, and having fun, and um, yeah, it found its way. What am I supposed to do? <laughs>